We're now going to define logarithms and then convert between logarithms and exponentials. So the definition of a logarithm is that the logarithm is the inverse of the exponential. So remember the exponential takes a base, raises it to a base a, raises it to a power x, and assigns that to y. The logarithm is given a y and the base and returns the power that we raise that base to to get that number. So the way we write this is as x equals log base a of y. Notice the a is in the subscript. It's smaller. It's underneath. It almost looks like this is a to the y, but it's not. The idea is that we can convert back and forth between these two values to go from the logarithm to the exponential and back. And this is the single most important thing to remember about logarithms in 1010 is how to convert from exponential form to logarithmic form and from logarithmic form back to exponential form. Remember that they're the inverses and that it's a logarithm is returning the power. And so we're going to start with our conversion work. So remember that if we have y equals a to the x, that becomes x equals log base a of y. So if I have an example, 5 to the fourth equals b, and I want to convert that, I identify my base, here's a, here's my x, here's my y. So I'm going to rewrite this as x, which is 4, equals log base a, which is 5, of b. So what's currently off of the 5 gets added onto it, what's currently on it gets added off of it. To look at another example, suppose that we have 1.9 raised to the c equals 12. So here we're going to add our equals and our log. We identify our base, which is the 1.9. Our power is the c, and so that comes off on its own. And our result, 12, is what's inside of the logarithm. One last example of converting. Suppose that we have z to the 1.2 power, and that's going to be equal to 7. So we convert this. We add our equals and we add our log. We identify our base first, and that's the z. And so that goes into the subscript of the log to say what base it is. The piece off of it gets added to it. That's the 7. And the piece currently on it comes off and becomes a 1.2. So we have successfully converted from exponential form to logarithmic form. And now we want to go back the other way. We want to start with logarithmic form and go to exponential form. So to do that, if we have y equals log base a of x, that becomes a to the y equals x. So again, we identify our base, our power here, and our number, then the number goes off to its own, the, the base is still the base, and our power becomes the power of the base. So if we have y equals log base 3 of 81, this becomes our base is 3, our power is y, and that's going to be equal to our number 81. So the 81 that was on comes off, the y that was off comes on. Another example, suppose we have y equals log base a. Let's not make that a y, let's make that a negative 3 equals log base a of 1 over 27. So again, we identify our base, we identify our number, we identify our power. We then write our base, which is a, raise it to the power, minus 3, and set that equal to our number, which is 1 over 27, and we've converted from a logarithmic form to an exponential form. And we can go back and forth on these as needed.